Okay, now let's look at how we can install Craft 3 Beta on our local machine. So to do that, of course, we already have Composer installed and working properly on our local machine. And now we are ready to install Craft 3 Beta. So the first thing I need to do is decide where I want to install this. So I'm going to make a directory called Craft 3 Beta Test. And then I'm going to go into that. And now I'm going to install in this directory. So the command we run is composer, of course, and then the composer command create project. And then we have to specify the uh, project that we want to create. In this case, it's craft CMS slash because we want to pull from the craft CMS slash craft repository on composer. And I'm going to use dot to install this in the current working directory. If I wasn't in it, I might want to, you know, tell it where to go, where I want to install it, but I like to be in the directory I'm going to install in and just use dot. And then we'll do minus S and beta. So what we're doing here is we're specifying the package, which craft CMS slash craft. And then this is going to be the, 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 the code, basically the guts of the entire uh, craft application. And then the dot is where we're going to install that, which is in the current working directory. And then minus S, this is the minimum stability, the minimum version that we want to install. In our case, it is beta. And this is all that's available. But down the road, as more Craft 3 versions are available, we can then choose if we want to install a certain version, maybe for backwards compatibility reasons or because we're spinning up a new version of the site for an existing project. We want to make sure that we have the right version. So we have beta here because that's what we're going to install. So let's hit enter. And Composer will do its thing. It's going to fetch the craft CMS slash craft package and install it in our current working directory. And this might take a few minutes because it does have to fetch some code. So you can see it's installing craft. And we're getting some of the dependencies here. We have the plug installer. This is Yi2 Composer, which I assume will then install the Yi2 framework. PHP.env, which is the environment, the PHP environment files. We'll get those in a minute. And some other items that are required for craft. So we're just sitting back and just watching our computer do all the work, which is how it should be. It means every time we run this, it's nice and predictable. It's going to do the same thing for us. And we don't have to worry about any human error. All right, now our installation is done via Composer. So if I ls here, you can see it probably looks a little bit familiar, right? We have a craft directory. We have a templates directory. We have a storage directory. We have this new vendor directory. And if we look at that, you can see it has uh, all of the, uh, the dependencies for Craft 3. And we have a web directory and uh, all the good stuff that we need for Craft 3. So next, we need to set up our local hosting environment. I'm going to assume that you have a grasp on that, whether you're using MAMP, WAMP, XAMP, or something else. At this point, you want to make sure that you have that running. You have a host name pointed to your project directory, and you have a database available. Because we now need to set up the credentials so that we can run Craft. The Craft 3 beta supports two database systems now, MySQL and PostgreSQL, but I'm going to use MySQL for this demonstration. So if we look in our project directory. You can see we just have a bunch of files and folders that we just saw. But if I show hidden files, you can see that there is a .env file. Now, this is an environment file. It's a hidden file. It's not a file that we track in version control. It is meant for this environment only, or let's say a production environment. 
And this is going to allow us to very easily separate out our credentials by environment. So let's open that up. And you can see that we have some settings here. First is our database driver, which we're going to use MySQL. We could use, we could put in PGSQL as well for Postgres. So for us, we're going to use localhost. Our DB user is root. The password will be blank. Our database will be craft three dev test. And we don't need to worry about schema. And our prefix, we are going to keep uh, blank for now. All right, so we can save that. And now we have our environment file set up. So that's specific to this uh, local server that we're running. And now the next step then is to run the craft installer. Okay, so now if I go to the browser and go to my local URL, and in my case, it's craft three beta test.dev. And then I go to slash admin that will fire up our craft three beta installer. So click begin. We give it a username, an email, and a password. We'll just call it craft three beta test. In our case, it's craft three beta test.dev. And craft three is installing. All right, all done. And here we are on the dashboard and you can see it looks just like the example I showed earlier. I can go in and try free pro version. So we can run that locally. So we have all the access we need to all the different features. And now we're running craft three. So we started by making sure that we had Composer installed and then we used Composer to install Craft 3. Now you're probably wondering, can I install Craft 3 just on my own? And the answer is right now, the only way to install Craft 3 is via Composer. However, in the future, when Craft is released in its final release, then there should be, or Pixel and Tonic says there will be a way to install Craft 3 outside of Composer. But right now for the beta, it's all Composer. You have to use Composer to get going with Craft 3. And it wasn't that bad. If you need a refresher on Composer and how to use it, check out my Composer video that would come before this one so you can learn everything you need to know right there. All right, so now you're up and running with Craft 3. In the next videos, I'm going to talk about some of the new features of Craft 3 and how they work.